In mathematics, especially in abstract algebra, a quasi-group is an algebraic structure or resembling a group in the sense that division is always possible. Quasi-groups differ from groups mainly in that they need not be associative. A quasi-group with an identity element is called a loop. Definitions There are at least two equivalent formal definitions of quasi-group. One defines a quasi-group as a set with one binary operation, and the other, from universal algebra, defines a quasi-group as having three primitive operations. We begin with the first definition. A quasi-group is a set, Q, with a binary operation, obeying the Latin square property. This states that, for each A and B in Q, there exist unique elements X and Y in Q such that both are X equals B, Y A equals B. Hold. The unique solutions to these equations are written X equals A, B and Y equals B, A. The operations, and, are called, respectively, left and right division. The empty set equipped with the empty binary operation satisfies this definition of a quasi-group. Some authors accept the empty quasi-group but others explicitly exclude it. Universal algebra given some algebraic structure, an identity is an equation in which all variables are tacitly universally quantified, and in which all operations are among the primitive operations proper to the structure. Algebraic structures axiomatized solely by identities are called varieties. Many standard results in universal algebra hold only for varieties. Quasi-groups are varieties if left and right division are taken as primitive. A quasi-group is a type algebra satisfying the identities. Y equals X, Y equals X, Y equals X, Y equals X. In other words, multiplication and division in either order, one after the other, on the same side by the same element, have no net effect. Hence if is a quasi-group according to the first definition, then is the same quasi-group in the sense of universal algebra. Loop A loop is a quasi-group with an identity element, that is, an element, E, such that, x e equals x and e x equals x for all x in q. It follows that the identity element, e, is unique, and that every element of q has a unique left and right inverse. Since the presence of an identity element is essential, a loop cannot be empty. A quasi-group with an idempotent element is called a PK. This is a weaker notion than loop but common nonetheless because given an abelian group, its subtraction operation yields a PK with the abelian group's zero identity turned into a pointed idempotent, i.e., there's a principal isotopy. A loop which is associative is a group. A group can have a non-associative PK isotope, but it cannot have a non-associative loop isotope. There are also some weaker associativity-like properties which have been given special names. A bowl loop is a loop that satisfies either x equals z for each x, y and z in q, or else y x equals z x for each x, y and z in q. A loop that is both a left and right bowl loop is a mufang loop. This is equivalent to any one of the following single Mufang identities holding for all x, y, z, x equals x, z, z equals y, x equals x, x, or equals x. Symmetries. Smith names the following important subclasses. Semi-symmetry A quasi-group is semi-symmetric if all of the following equivalent identities hold. X Y equals Y, X Y X equals X, Y X equals Y X equals Y Although this class may seem special, every quasi-group Q induces a semi-symmetric quasi-group Q delta on the direct product cube Q3 via following operation where, and, are the conjugate division operations, the latter formula more explicitly shows that the construction is exploiting an orbitive. S3. Triality total symmetry A narrower class that is a total symmetric quasi-group in which all conjugates coincide as one operation. X Y equals X, Y equals X, Y. Another way to define totally symmetric quasi-group is as a semi-symmetric quasi-group which additionally is commutative, i.e., X Y equals Y X.
idempotent total symmetric quasi groups are precisely Steiner triples, so such a quasi groups is also called a Steiner quasi groups, and sometimes the latter is even abbreviated as squag. The term sloop is defined similarly for a Steiner quasi group that is also a loop. Without idempotency, total symmetric quasi groups correspond to the geometric notion of extended Steiner triple, also called generalized elliptic cubic curve. Total antisymmetry A quasi group is called totally antisymmetric if for all C, X, Y, Q, both of the following implications hold. Y equals X implies that X equals Y. X Y equals Y X implies that X equals Y. It is called weakly totally antisymmetric if only the first implication holds. This property is required, for example, in the DAM algorithm. Examples. Every group is a loop, because an X equals B if and only if X equals a minus 1B, and Y A equals B if and only if Y equals B a minus 1. The integers Z with subtraction form a quasi-group. The non-zero rationals Q times with division form a quasi-group. Any vector space over a field of characteristic not equal to two forms an idempotent commutative quasi-group under the operation x, y equals 2. Every Steiner triple system defines an idempotent commutative quasi-group. A B is the third element of the triple containing A and B. These quasi-groups also satisfy y equals x for all x and y in the quasi-group. These quasi-groups are known as Steiner quasi-groups. The set, plus or minus 1, plus or minus i, plus or minus j, plus or minus k, where e equals j, j equals k, k equals plus 1 and with all other products is in the quaternion group forms a non-associative loop of order 8. See hyperbolic quaternions for its application. The non-zero octanions form a non-associative loop under multiplication. The octanions are a special type of loop known as a Mufang loop. An associative quasi-group is either empty or as a group, since if there is at least one element, the existence of inverses and associativity imply the existence of an identity. The following construction is due to Hans Zazenhaus. On the underlying set of the four-dimensional vector space F4 over the three-element Galois field F equals Z, 3Z define, equals plus plus, then, is a commutative Mufang loop that is not a group. More generally, the set of non-zero elements of any division algebra form a quasi-group. Properties in the remainder of the article we shall denote quasi-group multiplication simply by juxtaposition. Quasi-groups have the cancellation property. If ab equals ac, then b equals c. This follows from the uniqueness of left division of ab or ac by a. Similarly, if bar equals California, then b equals c. Multiplication operators The definition of a quasi-group can be treated as conditions on the left and right multiplication operators L. QQ, defined by the definition, says that both mappings are bijections from Q to itself. A magma Q is a quasi-group precisely when all these operators, for every x in Q, are bijective. The inverse mappings are left and right division, that is, in this notation the identities among the quasi-groups multiplication and division operations are where one denotes the identity mapping on Q. Latin squares The multiplication table of a finite quasi-group is a Latin square, an n times n table filled with n different symbols in such a way that each symbol occurs exactly once in each row and exactly once in each column. Conversely, every Latin square can be taken as the multiplication table of a quasi-group in many ways. The border row and the border column can each be any permutation of the elements. See small Latin squares and quasi-groups. Inverse properties Every loop element has a unique left and right inverse given by a loop is said to have inverses if for all x.
In this case the inverse element is usually denoted by there are some stronger notions of inverses in loops which are often useful. A loop has the left inverse property if for all in equivalently, or a loop has the right inverse property if for all in equivalently, or a loop has the anti-automorphic inverse property if or equivalently, if a loop has the weak inverse property when if and only if. This may be stated in terms of inverses via or equivalently. A loop has the inverse property if it has both the left and right inverse properties. Inverse property loops also have the anti-automorphic and weak inverse properties. In fact, any loop which satisfies any two of the above four identities has the inverse property and therefore satisfies all four. Any loop which satisfies the left, right, or anti-automorphic inverse properties automatically has two-sided inverses. Morphisms a quasi-group or loop homomorphism is a map f qp between two quasi-groups such that f equals ff. Quasi-group homomorphisms necessarily preserve left and right division, as well as identity elements. Homotopy and isotopy let q and p be quasi-groups. A quasi-group homotopy from Q to P is a triple of maps from Q to P such that for all X, Y and Q, a quasi-group homomorphism is just a homotopy for which the three maps are equal. An isotopy is a homotopy for which each of the three maps is a bijection. Two quasi-groups are isotopic if there is an isotopy between them. In terms of Latin squares, an isotopy is given by a permutation of rows alpha, a permutation of columns beta, and a permutation on the underlying element set gamma. An autotopy is an isotopy from a quasi-group to itself. The set of all autotopies of a quasi-group form a group with the automorphism group as a subgroup. Every quasi-group is isotopic to a loop. If a loop is isotopic to a group, then it is isomorphic to that group and thus is itself a group. However, a quasi-group which is isotopic to a group need not be a group. For example, the quasi-group on R with multiplication given by 2 is isotopic to the additive group, but is not itself a group. Every medial quasi-group is isotopic to an abelian group by the bruck toyota theorem. Conjugation left and right division are examples of forming a quasi-group by permuting the variables in the defining equation. From the original operation we can form five new operations x o y equals y x and and their opposites that makes a total of six quasi group operations which are called the conjugates or parastrophisive any two of these operations are said to be conjugate or parastrophic to each other Paratopy if the set Q has two quasi-group operations, and, and one of them is isotopic to a conjugate of the other. The operations are said to be paratopic to each other. There are also many other names for this relation of paratopy, e.g., isostrophy, generalizations, polyadic or multiary quasi-groups and NARY quasi-group is a set with an NARY operation, with F. Q and Q, such that the equation f equals y has a unique solution for any one variable if all the other end variables are specified arbitrarily. Polyadic or multiary means nary for some non-negative integer n, a zero ary, or nullary, quasi-group is just a constant element of Q, a one ary, or unary, quasi-group is a bijection of Q to itself, a binary, or two ary, quasi-group is an ordinary quasi-group. An example of a multiary quasi-group is an iterated group operation y equals x1 x2 xn, it is not necessary to use parentheses to specify the order of operations because the group is associative. One can also form a multi-ary quasi-group by carrying out any sequence of the same or different group or quasi-group operations. If the order of operations is specified, there exist multi-ary quasi-groups that cannot be represented in any of these ways.
An NARY quasi group is irreducible if its operation cannot be factored into the composition of two operations in the following way, where 1i less than jn in finite irreducible NARY quasi groups exist for all n greater than 2. See Akivis and Goldberg for details. An NARY quasi group with an NARY version of associativity is called an NARY group. Right and left quasi groups A right quasi group is a type algebra satisfying both identities. Y equals X. Y equals X. Similarly, a left quasi group is a type algebra satisfying both identities. Y equals X. Y equals X. Number of small quasi groups and loops. The number of isomorphism classes of small quasi groups and loops is given here.